Hi guys, my name is Mia Jamesville and welcome to a Sims Free Play house tour. I post a ton of videos on the Sims Free Play. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get notifications of when I upload new videos. Today's house tour is a little beach house by the sea here by the beach and it is occupied by two Sims. They are two adult Sims. They were young parents. They had their children like just out of high school and their kids have left home now. They're still quite young and they have decided to come and live by the beach in this beautiful house. As you can see, it is two story. It's got a balcony and it's got a swimming pool. Let's go ahead and get inside. It's a two story build and I really, really like this. It's kind of, I didn't want it to be like a beach mansion, but kind of just like a little beach house really. And they kind of spend, I think they're outside at the moment, the Sims who live here. Yes, here they are, chilling out. They kind of spend most of their time outside because, I mean, why wouldn't you when you live by the beach and you've got this gorgeous back garden? So as we approach the house, we've got two palm trees on either side and I really like that. It kind of really went with the whole beach theme idea. So I continued the palm trees on the actual plot. And the entrance, I really like this entrance. It's got a little balcony upstairs that kind of overhangs the front door. So let's come down and we will follow Megan, the owner of the house, inside. As you first enter, there is a little entrance way here. There's some plants. There's a lot of windows here to make it feel really light and airy and open. I kind of want to like the outdoor, indoor kind of feel because obviously it's by the beach. It's a warm location. You kind of want to be outside. You want to bring the outside in as much as you can. When you first enter, there is this lounge area here. I love these sofas. They're one of my favorite sofas. I just, I just think they're so nice. They're not really big TV watchers, as I keep saying. You know, they're more outdoorsy type people, but they have the area there in case they want to use it. And you've got the stairs to go upstairs. Just simple wooden stairs. I didn't want any fancy stairs in this. That wasn't the kind of feel that we were going for with this house build. And it's very kind of open plan. Again, that light, airy feeling. I've just blocked it off. I love using these candle wall things as dividers in rooms. I just think it looks really nice. Like you don't block it off completely. You don't want a completely separate room, but you want to kind of separate the areas out. And also rugs are fantastic for that. I love that they've been adding loads of new rugs in Sims Free Play recently. And it just kind of, as you can see here, you have separated like the lounge area with this rug and then we've got like the eating area, the dining room area with another rug underneath and I just think it's really nice, kind of gives the rooms, even though it's one big room, it makes it feel like separate rooms. So the dining area here is next to the lounge with some simple wooden furniture which I really love and we've got this sofa here because it's just nice that when someone's cooking, I think anyway that like I hate having a closed off kitchen in a house just, this is like in real life that when you're the cook when you're cooking food with everyone you're just closed off and everyone else is like feels like they're, ha they're having fun elsewhere so an open kitchen I think is all is really nice where people can stand or sit and chat to the person who's cooking so as you can see here Craig is just sitting chilling out whilst Megan does the cooking in the kitchen he's chatting to her so she's not by herself <laughs> he probably could go and help her but he's being lazy today it's just a nice, simple kitchen, which I really like. I've also used the rugs. I've never done this before, but I kind of like the effect. I put the thin rugs underneath the kitchen area there. So, I don't know, it just gives it a nice, nice feel. So, before we head outside, I think we'll go ahead and go upstairs. So, this is just a one-bedroom house. As I said, they were young parents. The kids have now gone off. It is just them on their own. And they've got rid of the kids' bedrooms. Turned it into, you'll see what they have turned it into in a second. You come up into this hallway, which I put these decorative hangings on. I just kind of felt they looked quite nice, really. have kind of filled that little space there. And I've, again, I've used the rugs. I was kind of just experimenting, I think, with rugs in this build, like different ways to use them. And I quite like this effect. So I just put like wooden floor and then the rugs along, along like this to make kind of... Uh, I mean, I don't know, now I'm looking at it, maybe it looks a bit like a zebra crossing. I don't know. <laughs> I did like it when I did it, but I don't know. Let me know what you think of that down in the comments. But I've got a walkway here, and then this is where you come out onto the balcony outside, as you can see. Just a little seating area, and I love these snapdragon plants. They're definitely my favourite in the whole game. I just think they're so pretty and so nice. I love the colours in them. But that is the hallway, as you can see. And I love that wallpaper as well. So the main bedroom, or the only bedroom now, 
is here very simply decorated it's not really got much in it and they've just got a door that leads out onto a balcony where they can sit and look out to say how nice would that be to sit in that seat there and look out at the beach so nice other rooms in the upstairs they have turned into a kind of dressing room area here so we've got the wardrobes which are amazing i absolutely love these open wardrobes that we have now got so it's kind of a closet come dressing room area which leads into a bathroom so there is the upstairs overview stick the roof on so you can see it again as a whole let's now go to the back garden and i will show you what the back garden is like in more detail so to access the outdoor area as Megan's going through the door there, we have the patio doors that are off the main living area, the dining area there. And there is a few different areas that I kind of sectioned off. So we have, first of all, we have this kind of seating area, which is so nice. And I've used the candle wall things <laughs> outside here to section off areas as well, because I just think, like I said, I just love them. This area, I think is really nice. You can kind of just imagine sitting there chilling. They've got some music that they can put on. And then we have the pool area here. So they can just chill out there on the recliners. I've used some different patios, which I kind of, it was quite difficult to do. You kind of have to have two separate, if you don't know how to do it, you'd like maybe a video tutorial on that. But like this, as you can see, we've got two separate patios, like touching each other. If you want a tutorial on that, let me know down in the comments, but you kind of have to do them separately. Like normally if you put them together, if you join them up, they will just all have the same design. You have to kind of do something special to get them like this. Let me know if you would like a tutorial. I can certainly do that for you. And then after the pool area, we have, they're both chilling in the hot tub at the moment. Why not? They have this hot tub area that is all enclosed because I figured that'd be quite nice. You know, if you want a hot tub, it's enclosed by the candles. You can light all these candles. And then if we go to the bottom of the pool area, we have a pool bar because of course a pool bar and a big seating area here because we have a little barbecue at the bottom and kind of like in this little pool house area it's kind of indoor outdoor kind of thing we have a little kitchen so as i said they do spend a lot of time outside and this is kind of the main kitchen that they really do use they don't really use the other one quite so much because they're always out here in the pool having barbecues cooking out here and so they do have a little seating area here as well and these rugs i absolutely love these rugs i kind of didn't realize that i had them and then i just kind of found out like oh my goodness i love the color that blue i just love it so much and then the last area that we have got is this kind of meditation yoga type area megan is really into her yoga and meditation and so she's created this part of the garden i actually thought that they sat the other way to be honest maybe i will turn that around i didn't realize that but this area is separated from the rest of the garden by the bamboo and by the candle walls again so she has that nice sound of flowing splashing water as she sits and meditate but i hope you like this little tour i have actually created a facebook group called sims free play simmers world i'll put it in the top line description actually and i'm going to share images of all of these house tours that i do so that if you want to kind of recreate them they'll just be still shots and so maybe it might be easier i mean you can just pause the video i suppose and copy if you would like to do that but if you want to get like the floor plans go ahead over to that facebook group and request to join the idea behind the group is to just share sims free play things uh, inspirational builds or ideas or like help with anything so yeah obviously if you are into that type of thing go ahead over to that group but thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed if you are not already subscribed make sure you go ahead and subscribe and click the bell to make sure you get notifications of when i do upload a new video and i will see you guys soon bye